Hey guys, what's going on? It's Horror Man, and this is my video response to one of my best friends here on YouTube, Andrew Bellina. He's having a really cool contest right now, something a little different. He's interested in making a low-budget, independent-type slasher film. Um, he's looking for ideas for titles. So, you know, I've been thinking about it for a little bit, trying to come up with something good. Um, I think I came up with a good one, also came up with a tagline to go along with it. But he also wanted us to show off some of our sl favorite slasher films in this video. So I'm going to do that first. First up, um, the Scream collection here. It has the first three films. Also, own the fourth one, of course. Um, I love all four of the Scream films. Really great slasher films, in my opinion. Um, I really like how, you know, that they're films that take themselves seriously, yet, yet at the same time they kind of almost make fun of the genre. Um, it's a really good balance, really, really well written by Kevin Williamson. Um, you know, that, that it can do both those things, as I said, be, you know, a serious horror film, yet still still basically be making fun of the jo genre that it belongs in. So, I think that's really interesting. Um, I've always loved the Scream films. The original Scream is definitely one of my greatest theater experiences. The first time I saw that, um, I knew it was definitely going to be a masterpiece. Um, then another one here that's, you know, a painfully obvious one, and that's Halloween. You know, I'm sure many people are going to have this in their video responses and, and mention this one. But, you know, it's, it's pretty much the godfather of slasher films. I mean, it's, it is the epitome of what a slasher film is supposed to be. Johnny Carpenter's original Halloween. Um, just a great film, classic, and still holds up today. Another obvious choice, A Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, this was something, you know, a little different. I mean, it's, of course, it's a classic now, and everyone has seen it. But, I mean, back when it came out, I'm sure a lot of people were, were surprised at this. You know, it's, it was a different type of slasher film. I mean, it wasn't, you know, this guy just going around with a mask on, killing people. I mean, he was actually getting you in your dreams. You know, Freddy Krueger can only get you when you were sleeping. And everybody has to sleep, so... I mean, that's, that's a scary thing. It's a scary thought, so... I think it's a really interesting twist on the slasher genre that I think a lot of people don't really give it enough credit for. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I know this is a love a film. You know, a lot of people love this film, but when you really think about it, I don't think a lot of people really point that out enough, that not only is it a slasher film, but it's almost a supernatural-type slasher film in, in the fact that, you know, Freddy can only get you while you're sleeping, so pretty cool. Another favorite of mine is Candyman. Absolutely love this slasher film. Um, this is kind of a slasher film with, with, you know, a deeper story behind it. It's not straightforward. You know, some guy with a hook just hacking people up for no reason. You know, th there's a good storyline behind it. Um, you know, nice little twist at the end as well. And I just really love everything about this. The score is amazing. I use, as you guys know, I, I use the can this Candyman score for some of my video intros and stuff. So, really love this film. Next, one I watched recently, but I wanted to, to give it a mention in this video. And that's The Sleeper. Um, this was just o this only came out earlier this year. It's it's a modern day slasher, but made to feel like an 80s slasher, and it definitely accomplishes what it set out to do. I really really enjoyed this. I love the simplicity of the story. I really love the killer in this one, and it has some great kill scenes as well. So definitely wanted to include this one. Next, you guys know I've said it plenty of times. My favorite horror film of all time. You know, any opportunity to to show this this movie off and and give this movie a shout out, I'll take. But, in this case, I think it definitely works. You know, while a lot of people wouldn't consider this to be a straightforward slasher film, I mean, I myself do not either. I mean, you got to admit, for people who have seen it, there is a slasher in this movie. You know, there's a masked killer that goes around slashing people in this film. So, you know, there's multiple deaths by the same masked killer. So, I mean, that's, that's a big part of the storyline. So, I, to, to not include this, you know, to me w would be a waste because, as I said, I do feel it does belong. I mean, you can see right there, there is a masked killer in this movie goes around slashing people. Um, you know, that, that fits, that fits the, uh, the theme of a slasher film, if you ask me, so I think it definitely works. So Nightbreed is definitely included in my, my top slasher films. Next, another one a lot of people like, and that's My Bloody Valentine. This is the original, of course. Great atmosphere in this one. I really love the atmosphere. Uh, great kill scenes as well. Next, Intruder. I absolutely love this one for the gore effects and you know, the setting of this one is just really great. I think it has one of the best settings for a slasher film. Um, I like that it takes place in the small supermarket, you know, after after closing hours. And, I don't know, it's just a really kind of claustrophobic feel to it. Great setting, great atmosphere. Uh, really sets up the mood of the film. And great kill scenes in this one as well. And finally, another modern-day slasher. That's Hatchet. I really love that this really does feel like an old-school American horror movie. Um, it just has that... Friday the 13th type feel to it, you know, a bunch of people lost out in the woods, um, getting killed off one by one in gruesome ways by, you know, a, a giant monster-like guy carrying a hatchet, so, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? 
Um, really enjoyed this one as well. And I, I, I did enjoy the sequel as well. I've been meaning to, to watch the sequel again. I've only seen it once when it was first released on DVD, so definitely want to check that out again soon. Uh, Andrew, I know you're a big fan of Hatchet 2, so I will get around to watching that one again. And, uh, you know, the first time I watched it, I mentioned that. You know, I, I wasn't blown away by Hatchet 2, but I did enjoy it. I really prefer Hatchet, you know, the original Hatchet over Hatchet 2. But Andrew keeps saying how much he loves Hatchet 2 and, and how, how he prefers it to the first one, so I'm definitely going to have to give Hatchet 2 a rewatch to see uh, if my mind, ch mind changes about that. Now, to get to your main question, Andrew, um, you want a title for your slasher, slasher film? Now, since I don't know too much about it, like, you know, what, what the storyline is going to be, you know, what you're thinking about doing for a killer or not, um, I'm just going to base it off of, you know, setting. Um, I'm assuming that if you film it, it is going to be in Australia where you're from. So I was thinking something maybe called The Australangler. Um, You know, it kind of goes along the lines of The Mutilator, The Prowler. Um, I don't know, it just, just works well, I think. Um, as I said, you know, with, with classic slasher films, and I, I know you really like you know, 80s type slasher films. You either had slasher films that were named after, you know, holidays or special days such as, you know, Halloween and My Bloody Valentine, April Fool's Day, New Year's Evil, Black Christmas. Or you had movies, as I said, like The Mutilator, The Prowler, um, movies like that named after the killer. So, you know, The Sleeper is another one, of course, right here. So again, you know, I was thinking The Awestrangler. Um, I'll put the spelling up in this video in, in a little caption. And also, I even had a tagline for you, and the tagline, I think, is even even better than the title, and I think it fits it well. And I was thinking it could be something like, he's taking the land from down under six feet deeper. I just think it would be really cool. I can picture the poster and everything, maybe, you know, a victim, a girl's face, um, you know, right in the center of, of, of the, the poster, and then maybe two hands um, holding, like, a, a thread around her throat, and maybe her eyes are kind of bulged out or whatever. I just can picture it, you know, I think it would be a pretty cool idea. Um, even something I'd be interested in developing, you know, if you, a lot of you guys don't know my background, but I do write a lot of film screenplays as well. Um, it's, a, it's a huge hobby of mine. I, I filmed a few short films and, and whatnot with some, with some friends and other people who are interested in, in acting and doing effects and all that. So um, I've been on movie sets and stuff like that before. So I, I'm just, I've just really always been into movies, and I kind of have, you know, a mind for these things. I try to, try to think of ideas and, and all that. I have kind of have a creative mind. I think anyway, so I've been told. So, kind of like that idea, Andrew. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And also, you know, if I can help in any way, I mean, I know I, you know, I live <laughs> far away from you, but if I can be of any international help by any means, you know, just let me know, and I would definitely like to take part in in your film project. And uh, I also want to say one more thing. I'm not actually going to enter your contest because I do own. The, the prizes that you're giving away, you know, with such a huge collection, it's kind of tough, you know, <laughs> to find anything that, you know, I don't already own. But I did want to, you know, just do this video response for fun and, um, you know, to, to include myself in it and uh, just to see what you think of my, about my title and, and the tagline as well. So, hope you enjoyed this, Andrew. Hope everyone else who's watching enjoyed this as well. Um, good luck to everybody who's entering the contest. I'm leaving Andrew's link below. Please subscribe to him if you haven't already. Take part in his contest. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.